It's Tuesday. I'm going to have to do both squats and bench today. I should have done squats yesterday, but we had an all-day conference here at the college, and I do all the sound and all the lighting as part of being an IT guy, so I had no time at all yesterday to lift. So we'll see what we can get done today. At 135 on the bar for a warm-up set. I already did warm-ups with just the bar and with 95 pounds to start stretching out my shoulders. So this is actually the first real warm-up set. I don't consider warm-ups even starting until 135 pounds. One eighty five. Two twenty five. Two twenty five felt pretty good. Three fifteen. Three sixty five for the work set today. Three forty fives and a twenty five on each side. That was five. That said at 365 pretty much drained me. That was tough. But I squeaked out the last rep 
I'm going to try it again next week and see if I can get a little bit lower to go a little deeper in the hole and clean it up a little bit. So I want to do that before I move on to 370 and maybe add one more rep and get up for six reps before I move up. Now I'm going to start warm up some bench. strings are pretty pretty sore right now which is a good sign you have to go down to pretty close to parallel on the squat in order to engage your hamstrings if you don't go down deep enough you, you don't engage your hamstrings and if you don't do that you're only working the muscles and the tendons and ligaments above the knee once you engage the hamstrings you're also pulling the knee from underneath giving the knee a lot more support and that's what makes squats safe for your knees. When you go deep enough and you engage the hamstrings to give your knees more support. That's very important when you're doing squats, especially when you're going up heavy like this. So even though I may not quite have been parallel, I was probably pretty close to it because I did engage the hamstrings and they work really hard. And same thing now on bench and these warm-ups is very important. It gets my shoulders loosened up, lubricated, ready for the movement. So I start with just the bar on bench and then I'll do 95, 135, 185. Then I'll put my work set on for today, which will be 220. Good to have some practice at the movement without having weight on there that stresses you. When you have weight on there that stresses you, form is, it's very easy to compromise form. But with a light weight on it like this, form isn't an issue and you can do correct form because you're not under that stress. And that is something that is essential for getting ready to bench and maintain shoulder health. 135. One eighty five. I did some walking for about five minutes and that seemed to do the trick. My hamstrings are loosening up and they're, they're feeling a lot better now. I'm going to do my first set of bench at 220. Originally I did squats and bench press on Mondays, but bench press was running out because squats drain all my energy. So I moved bench to Tuesday, but this week, like I said a little bit earlier, due to the conference, I wasn't able to get up here in the gym and lift yesterday. So I have to do yesterday and today now. 
So we'll see how this set of bench goes. So I thought that was only six. I did two sets of eight last Thursday, and I think on Tuesday I did a set of seven followed by a set of eight. So this is a downgrade from what I did last week because I'm trying to do this after squats, which like I said, I have no energy left after that. So we'll just have to do what I can for this week. I'll do one more set. I'm gonna take a five minute break and we'll be back for one more. Set number two at 220. Not bad, all things considered. I did what I expected on squats today, so that went well, but I went backwards a little bit on bench because I'm doing it following squats and don't have enough energy to put into bench the way I should. It should be separated, like I said, on Monday and Tuesday. So we'll go back to that routine next week. Doing squats late this week may also affect my Thursday's workout, which is a heavy squat followed by a heavy deadlift and then a work set of deadlifts. We'll see how that goes and how much recovery I have later on in the week. <laughs> 